I've always had a lot of lower back achy pain, and especially since I've gotten into the workforce, a lot of upper neck, um, probably from a lot of computer work. Mm. Oh, you know it's coming, yeah, you just do. don't know when. <laughs> there it is. Hey y'all, it's Dr. Bailey here in Austin, Texas at Lifespring Chiropractic, and today I have my good friend Maddie with me. We actually went to high school together and she recently moved to Austin, so I took this opportunity I had to get her in. She was actually a D1 college volleyball athlete and she now works in sales. So why don't you just kind of tell us about, you know, what's going on with your body and what you're feeling and kind of go from there. Yeah, I've always had a lot of lower back achy pain um, and especially since I've gotten into the workforce, a lot of upper neck, um, probably from a lot of computer work. Mm -hmm. So 100%. Yeah. 100%. So, without further ado, we'll just kind of get her face down, feel the spine, see what's going on there, and we'll continue onward. Go ahead and go face down, Maddie. Good. And then, so, here we're going to look at the legs. We see that the left is barely short. You can sort of see that. Yeah, bring it on in. Just barely short on that left. So, we're going to come up and feel the pelvis. So, with Maddie... We also know that she has some kind of pain that will sometimes shoot down the leg on the left side of the thigh here and almost to the knee. Right, Maddie? Yep. Okay, so to me that's saying we're thinking about more low back um, and we're thinking sort of disc inflammation almost. So feeling this L5 or the fifth lumbar vertebra, it's not moving to the left very well. So we'll definitely want to adjust that. Coming up, we got one right here that's a little sticky. You feeling that one? Mm -hmm. Okay. Keep coming up. We got one right here in the mid back, and then we got one right here as well. We know because we've already kind of felt everything, but just, you know, playing it out for the people of the YouTube. Okay. Feeling a little tender in there? Oh yeah. Okay, so that's actually a rib. That's your first rib. It's the very tallest rib. Um, and we'll get that adjusted for you as well. Right there, not feeling too happy. And right there as well. So, um, Maddie, if you'll sit up for me and face the camera, okay. we're gonna do tonal integrative correction, which is really just balancing out the very top bone in the neck, okay. AKA the atlas. So is it okay if I put my hands on your hips? Absolutely. Sweet. So Bailey, come over here so you can see this. So if you look right here, you see that we're uneven. Can you see that? Yeah, you can come around, perfect. Maddie, look to the left for me. Yeah, stay over there. See how we even out when she looks to the left. Now look to the right we go back uneven. So we know, you can relax, we know that the atlas is stuck forward on the left because looking to the left and bringing it back corrects it. So we're gonna go ahead and get that moving for her. I'm just gonna look at your ear height, a little high on this side. So we're gonna be right here. It may not feel like a whole lot to you, but I promise I'm doing what I'm after. So we're gonna hang out right here. I'm gonna vibrate like I've had too much coffee but I didn't because I spilled my whole coffee this morning on all my paperwork. <laughs> there we go, okay. So then we'll check the back again, we'll check the pelvis and see where we're at. And we're nice and even. Sweet, Maddie, look right and left and see if you notice any difference just from that one little adjustment. Oh yeah, more movement. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. It's like, okay, whatever, magic. <laughs> go ahead and go um, face, actually lay with your left side up for me. Okay. We'll go ahead and start the pelvis. Good deal, that's perfect, how'd you know? It's like you've done this a time or two. No. Straighten that leg, I'm gonna kinda okay. hang out right there. So for this one, we're gonna be doing that L5. So I'll get her where I want her, so we're gonna find that joint where it stops moving, right about there. I'm gonna pin her, roll her towards me a little bit. I'm gonna kind of slide my hand in there, and I'll drop through. <laughs> Bless. <laughs> go ahead and go face down, let's look at that leg length again. I'm making her a chiropractic pancake today to show y'all all these things. So, right here, we see that left leg is nice and even now. The pelvis should feel much better. I'm gonna to touch that L5 again. Just let me know if it feels any different. So first of all, that feels way better. Yeah. Any change in there? Yeah, definitely. Sweet. We love it. Okay. So 
So this one right here. What we're gonna do for this one, Maddie, is I'm gonna have you bend your knees so your feet are in the air, just like that. It sort of flattens the curve out right through here because this is a transition zone. And then I'm also gonna adjust it with your breath held in okay. because that increases the intra-abdominal pressure so that people feel more secure receiving a force through the low back because this is sort of a vulnerable zone. So I'm gonna be right here. I want you to give me a nice deep breath in and hold it. There we go. Go ahead and let those legs down. Perfect. Relatively comfortable, right? Mm -hmm. Coming up. Right there. Yeah, a little spicy. This one might be a little spicy. A little spicy. A little spice on this one. So, same thing here, but this time you're going to let it all out. Deep breath in, all the way out. Ooh. Whew. That felt good. That one was holding on for a minute, huh, girl? It's that desk work, too. Yeah. So, we still have this guy right here hanging out. Okay. I'm going to have you drop that arm onto the ground for me. Perfect. And then we're going to do the same thing. Deep breath in. Let it all the way out. There it is. Okay. When you're ready, flip over, face that for me. Great. Okay. So we'll recheck the neck from this angle because everything changes when you change angles. We'll tighten the base of the skull there. More muscular than bony though. So we're just going to release those muscles a little bit. Let me know if I put too much pressure. We want it to be productive, not painful. Mm, you're good. Okay. Yeah, right there. Mm -hmm. Woo! Spicy. Good. I'm gonna check all these. Honestly, feels really good on that side. Mm -hmm. Anything bothering you over there? No. Good. So over here, though, let's see. That one I don't like particularly. Yeah. So we just have one for her today. I'm going to drop this back a little because I don't want you in that much flexion. Okay. Beautiful. Got her right there. We're going to hang out and let these muscles turn off. Really kind of find her end range. So see how high her chin is? This is still too much for her. Because when we get them on the edge of this headrest, it actually raises the head up. Perfect. Right there. So we'll just hang out, let her muscles turn off. Wiggle her around a little bit. You know it's coming, yeah, you just do. don't know when. <laughs> there it is. I caught you right when you relaxed for just a second. I had to sneak up on you a little bit. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go into the knee now. So Maddie's actually had surgery on the left ACL repair, correct? Yep. And I'm just telling everyone that because you actually can adjust a knee that has had an ACL repair. You just don't do it violently <laughs> and you do it with care. So. We're going to do a couple of muscle tests first just to see what's going on there. I'm going to bend the knee here. Hold your leg. Don't let me push down. Okay. Good. So strong. Toe in. Hold the toe in right there. Now don't let me push down. A little bit weaker there. Toe out. Hold there. Don't let me push down. A little shaky, but stronger yeah. than with the toe in. Right. So just for y'all at home watching, when the toe's in like this, we're stressing the outside portion of the knee. When the toe's out, we're stressing the inside because of the rotation that it causes on the tibia. So we know that the outside portion of her knee is shifted out because we were a lot weaker on that one. So I'm going to do a couple of adjustments with it. Okay. We'll retest the strength and see what we find. Right. My handy dandy speed board here. Got it right there. You just hang out. I'm going to kind of block the foot so that we don't hyperextend the knee in the adjustment because that would be just a big fat no-no. I'm going to contact right on the outside of the knee here. Support with this inside hand and set it. Okay. So I'm going to repalpate. It feels a lot smoother. And then we'll go ahead and check this. Bend that knee for me, Maddie. Hold the toe in. Don't let me push down. So much better. I mean, so much better. I couldn't even push you down if I tried <laughs> with that one. That was beautiful. Sweet. So with that being said, I'll go ahead and look and make sure that everything else in this knee is nice and even. We'll just check some rotation and stuff. There is a minor rotation in the knee, so we'll fix that as well. Perfect. So what I was doing was pressure testing. I just test the body in the direction of correction. And if we even out, we know that's positive. And if we stay uneven, we know that that's not the good move for us. So 
Just ask the body and you will find the answer. Nice and even. We'll double check this. Hold right here, don't let me push down. Good, super strong. Hold there, don't let me push down. That's even better than before actually. Hold there. Yeah, I mean that is set. Much better. Set and ready to rumble. So now we'll go ahead and check out the feet because feet are super important. They are our base. You use them every single freaking day. So why not give your feet a little love? Love that. I'm gonna pull your toes, is that okay? <laughs> yeah. Okay, some people, I've almost been kicked in the face a few times oh, pulling some toes. Dr. Matt really hates his toes being pulled. So we're gonna check a few different things here. Feet are really complex, 33 joints in a foot. Lots of different things that can go on in here. So we'll start with the calcaneus. Not coming out really at all. Can you feel that, Maddie? Yeah. Yeah, it's really fighting me. And the base of these toes are really sticky in here, actually. Right there, not coming down at all much. And then this cuboid right here, I'm not super happy with either. We also will check dorsiflexion. Feels really stiff for you, doesn't it? Yeah. So that also needs a little help too. For this foot, I'll still assess it, but we're gonna adjust it a little differently because this is the foot with the knee that has the previous surgery. So we will be a little kinder to it. That feels pretty good compared to the other one. Heel is still not moving super well. A little freebie in there and then right there as well. Okay, so we'll start on this foot and move to that one. That's the heel adjustment, got that calcaneus. Mm, a little more on that, we need rotation. There we go. And then right here, beautiful. I want you to bend that knee and keep it right there for me. We're gonna unrotate this metatarsal. I'm gonna be over here. So I'll roll over onto it and set it. Let that foot fall out. And this will be the arch. So this is gonna be a little spicy. Okay. Most of these are kind of tender, okay? There we go. Yeah, just a little bit. So with this foot, we're gonna do a lot more work with the speeder board and the activator. So I'm gonna have you bend that knee, let it fall out. This will be the calcaneus adjustment with that speeder board. It's really important to block this mortise joint. Otherwise you're just moving the whole foot around. You're not getting any adjustment. There we go. Good deal. For that talus, bend right there. So this is really just setting that talus in. Deal. And then since cuboid is out, we'll set it like that. There we go. Bring that foot out. Beautiful. And then one last one on this guy. Keep that knee right there for me. Okay. There it is. Okay, come on up, Maddie. Give us a walk around the room and just tell us what you notice. Um, my hips feel a lot more even. Yay! When I'm walking. And I don't have any outer knee like. Yes. Sweet. Okay. Yeah. Good. Awesome. Well, thank you for joining us, guys. We'll catch you next time.